In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own customized shelf in order to be uh, a little more efficient in, in your workflow when you're working within Maya. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing that I'm going to do in, in order to create my customized shelf is go into my menu of item to modify the shelf, which is this arrow right here. I'm going to click on it and then go to New Shelf. Then it's going to give me a window for me to create a uh, give it a name. So in this case, uh, it's uh, for me. It's just going to be my tools, and then press OK. And you're going to notice that it actually created uh, a shelf at the end of my shelf bar over here. <coughs> and now what I need to do is actually uh, start adding the different tools that I'm going to be using. In this case, um, um, for instance, it's going to be a, mo a modeling project. So <coughs> Uh, I'm going to switch into polygons and I'm going to go into my edit mesh. I'm just going to detach this so I can have access to all my tools and I'm just going to start including a um, couple of my modeling tools, the modeling tools that I use the most. So I'm going to hold Control Shift, left click and then click on Extrude and notice that my Extrude tool now appears within my the tool that I just created. So I'm just going to go down the list and just uh, in, um, Add a couple of more, a couple more tools that I I, I use a lot during my modeling process. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna include uh, insert edge loop tool. So Control Shift, left click, going down the list here. Uh, connect components again. Control Shift, left click. Uh, delete edge vertex tool. Control Shift, left click. I'm also going to be adding the babbling tool. All right, leave it there. I also want to add a couple of uh, create tools over here. Um, again, usually in polygon modeling, you start from a primitive. So uh, I'm going to include a sphere, cube, cylinder. Just uh, close that. Then I want to switch into my surfaces and uh, include a couple of my uh, surface uh, surface based tools. So I'm going to go into edit curves. I want to include uh, insert knot. So control shift left click. It's right there. Surfaces. I'm going to include revolve, loft, planar. And under edit nerves, I want to include a insert isoforms. So I'm just going to control shift left click and now I have a <coughs> customized shelf that has the tools that I um, that you know my my workflow uh, I would most likely be using um, and another thing that I like to do at this point is also organize uh, the order of importance for instance uh, I just want to take my primitives and put it in the front over here um, make sure my Babylons right here, so I'm just middle middle click and dragging um, my tools and just making sure they're uh, on the right order of importance for me. So mid I'm gonna take the uh, insert the isoparms, middle click on it and just drag it right next to my insert knots. <coughs> I think that's the right order again for my modeling preferences. Um, the next thing that I like to do. Um, oh, actually, um, there's other way, other ways that you can go about reorganizing um, your customized shelf, and also you can actually customize the location of your shelf within uh, the shelves that you have here, and it's by uh, going into your shelf editor, which is right under the uh, menu of items to modify the shelf. So just click on the arrow, shelf editor and uh, by default it's going to have highlighted the shelf that you have selected so in my case it's going to be my tools and here it has a list of all of the tools that I added into my shelf and uh, at this point I can take my customized shelf and uh, again by default it's going to start at the end of the shelf area over here and I actually want to bring it to the front Again, uh, just to kind of keep give it an, uh, a little bit of order uh, of importance. So I'm just going to click on the move up uh, red arrow over here. Just move it all the way up. 
and as you can see my tools are now at the front of my shelf and not at the end I can also uh, either move around my shelf my uh, the different tools within my customized shelf uh, by using the move up and move down in my shelf content uh, part of the window here you can also select the tools that you don't need um, or that you might have added twice by accident and just click on the trash bin over here so again just for the sake of the example I'm going to select my planner under surfaces and I'm just going to delete that and again notice it's no longer on my customized shelf so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just click on all shelves uh, save all shelves I actually do need that uh, planner one so I'm, again I'm just going to go back into my surface control shift <coughs> um, right click on it again I just clicked on it by accident twice so I need to get rid of one of them I can go back into my shelf editor um, into my shelf editor and just delete the extra one or I can actually just middle click on the one that I did extra and just drag it into this trash bin over here um, beyond this <coughs> in, in, able, in, in order to be able to uh, take this shelf and be able to uh, have it with you at all times again sometimes you're, you're not going to be working with your own computer um, what you have to do is make sure that you have all your shelves uh, saved so it's basically gonna uh, whatever it's just customized is gonna is gonna save within uh, the preferences of your computer. So what you can do is actually go into the preferences destination in your uh, computer, and uh, your PC will be somewhere within your documents, your Maya <coughs> folder. Uh, this is just whatever version you're using, and then the prefs folder so and when you're within the press folder you have a couple of different things that, uh, that are saved within your Maya the one that we want, we're going to be looking at is the shelves so double click on it and if I look here I uh, should be able to find uh, the one that I just created which is right here Cause, and if I wanted to take the shelf and uh, again, you're, I'm not going to be working on my computer all the time. I can just take it to uh, a different computer, a different workstation. So I can just copy this uh, shelf, uh, my tools, and <coughs> open up a version of mine on a different computer. Go into my menu of item to modify the shelf and just load that item. So you can, you can uh, load it from whatever... Um, or even put it within your prefs in that computer and it should ro uh, load up with your other uh, uh, shelves um, so that covers uh, customizing uh, your own shelf um, I'm hoping uh, this helped to improve your efficiency in Maya uh, thank you for watching